Hey, what is up, everybody? It is No One Shot. Come back to you with another Star Trek Week Map. Today, we're going to talk about away team missions, ATAs, as it's called. I wish I would add another T at the end so we can call them ADATs, Star Wars reference. But before we get into the video, don't forget to like that subscribe button, that bell notification down below. Right below that is a Discord link, and that see more button. Click that see more button. Click, hit that, join the Discord. Below that is a donation link. If you want to donate, Click down below, click that donate button. And under that is a join button. Become a member for either two, five, 10 or 20 bucks a month and help the channel out on a daily or monthly basis. It would be greatly appreciated. So we're gonna be talking about away teams and we're gonna be talking about the generalization and some of my complaints and some of my thoughts about it. And then some, not really strategies, but ways of getting better percentages, maybe kind of, sort of. Yeah, maybe, yeah. yeah. So let's go take a look at the away team itself so let's go here here all right so right now you see i have already three going since well i didn't really purchase any of the primes or any of that you can see some of the stuff i have going like this one right here reserve ceremony i have a chance of 10 percent chance of getting two d4 shards but the one thing i'm looking greatly at is the klingon credits because i'm building a uh what is it cory a coroner and then of course these right here because I need more research, because research is key in this stuff, because it's going to help you on the long run of this game. Um, so far, I'm, I'm happy about it. I'm glad they introduced speed ups. I'm glad they introduced the refresh button, which they just fixed this morning. So if you haven't uh, updated your client today, make sure to update it, because there was some glitch on it that made, made it different, didn't work. But so far, I'm happy with it. Some rewards are cool. This is kind of cool. 10% of 1600 latinum. I'm not going to argue with three latinum. And then ship experience and more of the, um, what are they called? I never knew what they're called. Service rewards. And then there is some great variety in it. It's based on ops level, based on a lot of things. Like right here, I have a chance of getting 720 explore, broken explorer parts. Cool, I can refine those. Whatever. I saw some that gave you ore, gas, all the random stuff, which is kind of cool where you can earn it another way. Remember, this is just a bonus and this is just that one thing that's extra to the game. So you have officers always sitting there doing nothing, collecting dust. Hey, you got a way to do them. But I want to tell you what could help with these percentages because look at the, we got to realize attack so that's what your main one's going to be you want to focus on officers have attack or like let's go to this one this one requires health so you want to get those stats as high as possible and how do you do that if you're still lower or if you're you don't have the officers max yet to give you more chances or better percentages let's go into our research tree so let's start with the way team one so as you go down the tree Blah, 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 blah. So you, we have these three right here. Right here, these three. So we have uh, rerouting shields, tactical aggression, and hypospray technology. So as you see here, increases officers' defense of all officers. So this gives you a percentage increase, which is gonna be the increase to that specific stat. Same here, same here. So if we can increase officer stats, we can increase the percentages of actually finishing it or winning it and make that gap a little less. Okay, that's one set of researches you can do. Other is in the galaxy tree. We have prime officers, if you can get that. That'd be another one. Stats. Um, we go down here more toward the end of the uh, galaxy tree. Do, 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 do. Where is it at? Here's another one, advanced officer training. Here's another boost to your stats. And we go down further. We have attack and defense training. There's two more stats you can increase for your officers. So you have more ways of increasing the stats to give yourself a better chance of actually completing the way team mission or the way teams it's kind of cool um it's kind of one of those ones where it's like hit and miss like you're gonna have those chances and sometimes you'll roll the dice and roll double or you roll snake eyes basically <laughs> snake eyes um but anyways you roll snake eyes basically and you just lose it but there's those chances the more you get a greater percentage the less chance you're going to fail and the less more chances you're actually going to complete it and get the assignment or get the assignment done and have that small percentage of getting crits. All right. So we went over the way teams himself. We went over partially a research that would help your way teams. And let's go look at one of my complaints. Here we go. And I got to turn my black bar off because I'm not streaming. Boom. So here's one of my complaints right here. Oh, you can't see my mouse. So here it is right here uncommons come on we're competing already for upgrades that require these we have ship upgrades that require these and i am 44 probably gonna be 45 in the next few days and this is getting expensive uh, one of my guys just showed me 
I'll pull a screenshot of because he just showed me it right now. So let's go to my desktop. He took a picture of it. And this is for 41 to go into 42. As you can see here, it costs him 91, or no, sorry, 8,565 G4 and 1,946 G4 rare and 1 billion and 15.3 million. And that's a 64 day one at ops 41. Just, just the thing, just to show you guys that I wish they didn't have to do with uncommons. They should have used something else or just been pure resources. That's one complaint. My other complaint is probably a lot of other players will have it and a lot of players will complain about it because I know we're all impatient people, including the whales, is speed ups. We need more ways to source in them for the way team missions. Maybe through your dailies, to add that to a daily one. So if you finish your dailies, you get the speed ups. Or if you do a certain amount of way team missions during that one day, you get the daily awards you some speed ups. Or, um, in the chests, your rewards chest, your 24 or four hours and 10 minutes, maybe you have it there or another chest for that. Or other one could be alone would be the easiest way. Let us use Latinum. Just let us use Latinum, please. Cause the Latinum is, some of us have Latinum. We get it from Devor. We get it from our Latinum research. We get it from a lot of things. Let, let us use Latinum. Just please let us use it there. Um, Besides that, sorry for the moment. Um, I've been rather happy with the way team stuff. I was kind of on edge originally about the way team stuff and the stuff that involved on the way team. But right now I'm honestly pretty excited about it for the potential that you can get credits, you can get platinum, you can get ships, you can get G4 ships at a higher one, but those are like five day ones. And those impatient 40 plus players are gonna be like, come on, bruh. Give me, let me use some speed ups. Let me use my Latinum. It's awesome. Honestly, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm pretty happy about it. The new officers, I'm torn a little bit. I have a prediction, probably, maybe. I don't know, because I don't know what's coming up in the next arc. But, like, data. All right, let's go, uh, let's go to data. I don't know why the carousel's not working anymore, keeping us where we're at. But we have, why do I click on Lorca? Jeez, I say data, I click on Lorca. I click on data, I... Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so data. So... The thing with data is his main ability is armada based. Okay. This one. When fighting non-player targets, which include are including mission hostiles, data increases armor piercing, shield piercing, accuracy. He's gonna make another good PvE officer, in my opinion. He'll make a good PvE officer. But if we look at all the stats of the new officers or all the abilities of the new officers, they revolve around armadas. And they're all armada based. Why? I didn't like Jordy's that should have been PvP because we needed a second Klingon officer for PvP. But, or anti Klingon. It still didn't make sense. Um, most of these new officers are all armada based. And what's my thinking about it? Besides, like, the normal run of the mill, we're going to get new armadas at one point in this arc. I'm starting to think if they introduce the Enterprise D. It's going to be an Armada-based ship or a Armada-based skin. That's my thoughts. Tell me what you think on that one. Because a lot of these officers revolve in Armadas. If they're not going to fix the Armadas, like I said in that previous video, they need to do it before they get this next arc out. If they're going to start bringing more Armadas in the game. Make it ways for us to earn rare directives. Epic through conversions or dailies or alliance stores or something. And give us better prizes in it for the G4 players up and the lower. Just a thought, but that's not the point of this video. It was the point to talk about your way team missions and talk about the way team research because the way team research seems like it's going to be a good hit for players because I had another player show me, yeah, I did all this away team stuff and my enterprise went from five mil to 5.3 million. He got a 300 K boost out of it. Just the research alone. Like you have the overcharge, which is a PVE one, which is going to help you doing your PVP PVE. Then you have more officer stuff to bump you up. Then you have gravitational shields, which will increase your shields, your percentage on shields, which is pretty good. Um, and then of course, my favorite one is gonna be transport capacity. That's gonna be one of my all time favorites in there. And then protected cargo, cool, we get more. That's not bad. Then we have mining related stuff. We got notoriety, which is kind of cool right here. So it's increased faction. So it's gonna help you gain 
It's going to look at this. Increase the amount of fe Federation reputation gained or lost from Armadas. Last thousand Armadas. Interesting. But I like that. We have Charistic uh, Order, which increases your ship, your stats of your ship captain. Even better. Synchronized Crew increases the stats of officers on the bridge. That's even better. Then we have more barrages. Right there. Then we have Unsup Explorer, Battleship, Interceptor. Awesome. Explorer Piercing. Do we just have... And look, at here's another stat boost for your officers I didn't notice. Right there. I'm not sure where it gets into the 40 plus territory. So I'm guessing this is the 40 plus right here. So down this way is going to be the main, 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 main of it. So all our research and everything on it. And then plus now we have away, team, or away teams. And then just... It's going to be... This has been a good update so far. I'm rather happy. We had a smooth rollout. We had a lot of communication, which I think scoped for the communication. Away teams is going to be something to help you into the future of the game. So you're going to have to plan around that and plan around those ideas of the away teams. But that's it. Like, I'm excited. I'm happy with this update. I want to see what they come up with for TNG because TNG is one of the biggest IPs that Scope is playing with right now. Like, one of the biggest ones for Star Trek. So I'm hoping they do good because I'm rather excited for the potential because we have a whole host of new officers we can get. We have a whole host of ships we can get. A whole host of reputation factions and yada yada we can possibly get. So I wonder what Scopely's planning. All right, guys. Don't forget to like that subscribe button, that bell notification down below. Below that is a Discord. Click that see more button. Come join that Discord. Below that is a donation link. You can donate if you want. I appreciate it. And below that is a join button for two, five, 10 or 20 bucks a month. I greatly appreciate it. I appreciate everything you guys have done. And for giving me the 6K, I, I appreciate it, guys. You guys are awesome. Couldn't do it without you. All right, guys. It is No One Shout signing out. Peace out. Have a wonderful day.